Hey everyone, it's Josh here from Teach Yourself Websites. Today I've got a very special tutorial for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a random post button that you can put into your menu uh, on your website. And what it does is when you click on it, it just goes and looks at all your posts and grabs a random one out of the archive so um, the user can see some random posts of yours. So to create this, um, what we need to do is a little bit of PHP coding. Um, we're going to make a, a special template um, for, a, for that random post page. Um, and yeah, so we may as well just dive in. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to look at my, my theme here. Um, I've downloaded these files to my computer uh, from my web server, so you'll probably want to do the same. Um, I'm running the 2012 theme, but I also have a child theme. Um, if you don't know what a child theme is, click through to the tutorial page here, and um, I'll have a link in the in the notes there to um, so you can have a look at a, another tutorial on how to create a child theme. So what we need to do is um, look for a particular file called page.php. And this is the, the template file that renders um, what a particular page looks like on your website. And I'm just going to um, Command C or Control C if you're on Windows to copy that. And I'm going to paste it into my child theme. And I need to rename this file and I'm going to call it page-random. Now what this is going to be is a unique version of that page.php specifically for that random page that fetches the, the random post for us. So uh, I need you to open this up in your in your favorite editor. Uh, I'm going to use JEdit which is one of my favorite editors. I'll put a little list of, of different editors you can use there as well. Um, so just find your file and open it up and you'll notice it's got a, um, a bit of a comment at the top here. You see some familiar looking stuff like get the header, then it displays the content of the page, get the sidebar and then get the footer. So that's what a normal page template looks like. What we're going to do today is um, replace some of this stuff with our own bit of code to fetch a random post. So um, to, in order to set up the template, we need to um, set the, um, the template comment. And to do that, you just replace this comment at the top here with your own comment. So it's just a forward slash and a star. And then type in the word template name, colon, and call your template whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine random post. So this will let us find it in the page templates in WordPress. Once you've done that, I'm going to just um, cheat here and, and paste in a little bit of code that I've pre-written. Don't worry, you'll find this code in the show notes. Um, so click through to our site, Teach Yourself Websites, if you're viewing this on YouTube. Um, what we're doing here, I'll just take you through um, step by step what we're actually doing. So the first bit should be fairly obvious. It says get posts. And what that does is retrieves um, a number of posts from WordPress um, and we're telling it that we only want one post so the number of posts argument is set to one and the order by is set to rand which is the key to this it pulls out a random post so what this does is it returns an array and it loads it into this little variable called random post after this um, we now have our, our variable random post we need to go through um, with a, a for each to pull out the individual post. So we take this array and we say for each little object inside that array give it to me and put it in a variable called post. Inside of this for each loop um, it'll, it'll keep executing this for as many objects as are inside of random post. But because we've set it to one up here there's only one ever going to be one object inside of that. So the last little bit is to redirect and this needs to be done before the get header. So in your template find the get header and make sure you put this bit of code before get header. It's absolutely important that you do that. So um, what we're redirecting to is the permalink or the link 
to that particular post that we pulled out and you can do you can get that link just by saying get permalink and then give it the um, post ID so this looks at the post object and pulls out the ID out of that post now after you do the redirect um, we need to stop executing whatever else is in this template so after we do the redirect you just click uh, you just put in an exit call and um, that will stop executing this template and redirect it to the, the next page. So that's how, um, how we do our, our template there. I just need to save that and I'm going to upload that to my server. I'm using a, a program called FileZilla. Um, you can use any FTP program to get this up to your server. So what you need to do is locate your, your themes directory, um, find your page-random.php file your page template that we just created and just right click and upload that. So once that's uploaded um, we need to switch over to WordPress to finish off. So now we're in WordPress um, what we have to do is create a new page. So you go to the pages area click on add new and I just want you to call this um, random or random post. So um, we don't actually need to put anything in the content area, but over here on the right, what we do need to do is select our template from the list. Now, if you've uploaded that file, you'll find that this random post template is already in there. So select that, and once you've done that, hit publish. So now that we've got this uh, random post page, we need to add it into the menu. So uh, for people to be able to find this random post page, they need to be able to see it. What you can do is uh, go to Appearance and then Menus. And because this just shows up as a regular page, you can add that page to your menu. So under the, the Pages area in here, check your random post page and add that to the menu. <clears throat> and then position that wherever you want. I'm just going to put it underneath my blog menu item. So if I click on save there now and now if I go to the the front of my site under blog I have random post and when I click on that it should go off and find a random post of mine, a random blog post. So if I click it again it'll grab another random post. So that's how you add a, a random post button to your website.